All right, good morning. So I went to log in to my WordPress today and I got it not available. Now I know that there's been several updates, so my guess is that um, something updated or auto updated and and, and I got this. <laughs> so this is happening because of my all-in-one um, security software from, uh, uh, it's a WordPress plugin. And well, all I need to do and all you need to do is to disable it, then re-enable it, and then update it. <laughs> and it. And it should fix it. So all you need to do is go to your C panel. Um, and the easiest way for you to get to this is to go to um, your website domain name, like domain.com forward slash C panel. And your login will be your login for your hosting, okay? And then that will bring you to this screen. And from this screen, you're going to want to navigate to public HTML. And for you, mine's set up differently. You're going to want to go to WP content and then plugins and then your it will be in here. For me, I actually nested my site because it's a little more secure that way um, under CDP WP and then I go from here to content and then I go to my plugins and there is the offending um, all-in-one security uh, plugin. So I'm sorry, I've got a little bit of a frog in my throat this morning. All right, so all we're going to do is rename it. You can rename it to anything. I just put zeros, double zeros at the beginning because that makes sure it stays at the top of the list. And now when I go to my login, which I have a specialty login, which is part of the problem here, um, it will work. See, I can log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And now that I'm logged in, I'm going to go over to back to my C panel and I'm going to re-enable it just by taking that off of there. So when you disable it, all of your settings stay um, because it's still technically on the on the WordPress site. All your settings and everything in your in the WordPress database will stay put, but your it won't work because it won't know where the files are because you've changed the name. So we go after we've changed it back, we're going to go back to the dashboard, and you won't see it here because remember we disabled it. So you're going to go to plugins. Oh, see, I've got all kinds of updates. Something something big must have happened last night. And then um, I have already gone through this once, so I've already updated it. But then you'll see it's here. It will recognize it because we have gone to another page since we first logged in. So it remembers, oh, the files are here, so I can display this. And it's active and everything. So what we want to do, now that we know, if you if you have an update, go ahead and run it. You'll just hit the Update Now button, and it will, it will run. Um, for the all-in-one WP, but what we want to do is we want to go take off the brute settings. So scroll down here to WC Security. You can also go to Settings here, but this is a little faster, and then go to Brute Force. Now, Brute Force has the setting on it called the Rename the Login Page, and I had my name to Wendy's Login, and that seems to have been the problem. See, Wendy's Login, my current login is here. If you don't, if this isn't working, you can be kicked out. That kind of thing. If you ever get kicked out because of this, just go through and rename this again and you can get right back in. So what we want to do is we're going to temporarily uncheck this and we're going to save our settings. It'll knock down our score for a few minutes, but that's okay. All right. And now when I go to log out and I go to log back in, I can get in. It's not a problem. Um, and I will even test it. Let me log back out again. I'm even going to test it from here and see if this works. It should not work. Oh, it must still be cached. Hang on. Let's do this on the incognito window. Yeah, see, you can't find it. Okay, so it's cache. That's why it was remembering. And I will say you're going to run into caching issues. Caching is when your browser remembers things that maybe you don't necessarily want it to remember. Um, so that's what's happening here is that it's the same page on both, but it's remembering that this page used to show this. So it's showing me the login page, even though it doesn't really work. So like if I were to do a hard refresh on this page. Oh, see, this has got the different URL. Hang on. Or do on this page, it might still show the login yet, yeah, it's redirecting, but if I were to do a hard refresh on that, it would wipe it. So here's the thing, 
is that we want it to, we still want to have our brute force enabled because that keeps out um, computers from hacking into WordPress sites. It just, it doesn't prevent it completely, but it just makes another hurdle and that you want the hurdle. And it's a little convenient. You don't have to remember this huge long string, you your WP hyphen admin, you just type in your, your specialty entrance. So let's go ahead and get logged back in. We're going to use the, the cached version to our benefit here. If you do have the um, not login anymore, it's literally just your domain name dot com forward slash WP hyphen admin. Um, this right here, and it will get you right back in. Don't worry about this because remember my site is nested. It will look like that. Okay, so once you're logged back in, you're going to go from here back to WC Security, back to Brute Force. And from here, you can set up a new one. Um, like I might just do, ugh, I got to change it anyway, so I'm just going to pick up something crazy. We'll do ABCD because <laughs> I have to change it too because I'm posting this video. And then we're going to check to enable it. And we're going to hit Save Settings. Okay, so now my log out, it's going to log me out to that. See, A, B, C, D. And it's brand new, so it's not cached, so we know it's working. We'll even try it over here in incognito. And ta-da, I can get in again. So when this happens, this seems to happen a lot with this particular plugin. So just remember these steps when you, gotta, when you have to when you get that not available and you have to go back in and fix things. It's just a bug of the thing. I mean, the plugin itself is very good. It's very good. But whenever there is an update or WordPress changes something and then they have to adjust their code based on what WordPress has done, they, this just happens. It just happens. But it's a relatively easy fix and you can get back in with, what, 10 minutes? So we're all set. All right, that's it for now. I hope you guys have a great day. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.